Hi, and uh, welcome down to a sunny morning at Devon Coy Pond. Not been too bad a week, but still not what we've been expecting. I've got my piece of paper here on the solar today. Um, yesterday was two months of running. Um, I run the month from the 24th to the 24th. So it was uh, two months of running yesterday, 60 days. Right, we were open uh, to uh, make a fair bit of money. Well, we actually made in two months uh, fifty-four pounds eighty-seven. All right, that's what we actually made, which was not good. May was a bad month. We should have made a lot more. I was hoping for a kind of average through the month of. I don't know, around a pound a day, maybe a little bit more, but uh, didn't get that in May, and we didn't get it from uh, May 24th to uh, June 24th either. Now the actual pond, to run it fully on solar, I need to make about one pound ten a day. That's to cover it running during the day and the night. So for it to charge the batteries up and run overnight, and then the next day recharge the batteries plus run the pond and so on and so on each day I need to make about one pound ten a day now how do those 60 days <coughs> well uh, 60 of those days in those 60 days only 49 days did we manage the one pound ten mark one pound eight one pound ten to run it at about 150 watts or whatever all right so Looking at it, the two banks of panels that are coming in, one set always makes eight pence to ten pence a day. <coughs> Sorry, I got a fever, a terrible tickle at the back of the throat. <coughs> one set always makes between eight to ten pence more per day. So, in those 60 days, really, I lost about six quid on one bank so that put me six pound down instantly right what else we got here on the paper right yeah the average down on one set so I think there's a fault with the panels or one bank of the panels has got a duffy one in it because they should be pretty close together I know I'm getting reflections slightly off the wall and next door on one set but they should be more or less bringing in the same amount so I've got two more panels now, they're wired in, wired in series and parallel, two 12-volt 12, 12 panels wired together to give 24 volts. Then they're wired, um, this, each system side is 24 volts, or just over, because the panels don't give out 12 volts, but it's just over. Um, so I'm going to swap two out at a time off the bad array. I can, uh, now I've got two spare panels and just plug them over and see which, uh, hopefully, one panel is uh, not producing what it is and uh, that one can bloody well go back I know I've had it um, 60 days but uh, it's not making what it women should so I should be moaning about that right um, incidentally adding two extra panels should on a sunny day like today make another 30 35 pence a day the good array the one that really is working which was the first set that quite often makes 35 to 40 pence a day but the other one has been struggling um, sorry 65 pence to 70 pence a day that one array each panel is rated at half a kilowatt so each array can make two kilowatts so on a good day it should make four kilowatts and you do but the good array is making up the little bit extra that the uh, bad set is missing so all starting to get bloody confusing, but I will pop something up on screen here. Right, um, the extra set of two panels add into it to give me another 24 volts to plug into it. That should make another kilowatt a day. All right, um, and I'll sort it all out with panels which good and which panel bad. But yeah, to run the pound on solar. I need a bigger battery array and I would need to take the array up to two kilowatts um, a day um, so two kilowatt array really to do it and I think that would get you 
80-90% of the year running on it. The battery bank that I got, I've only got 275 amp hours in the battery pack. I would probably need to take that up to 400 to 500 amp hours to be able to get through the darker days in the winter. But um, I think you would get it running on a 2 kilowatt system with 450 to 500 amp hours of batteries. That would run you full time at about 150 watts a day running on the pond. So, but slowly building the system up, um, I can add to it now uh, bits and pieces as I want to. I know this is all getting very complicated. Um, was there anything else I wanted to put across? Um, right, during May, which was a low month, right, we only made uh, £23.25 for that month which was um, April 24th to May 24th, £23.25. Now May 24th to June 24th, I made £29.62. So it was better month, more sunshine, see? More sunshine, you make more money, simple as that. All right, but on top of that, I was at least £6 down, I think, through the bad panel setup over the two months. I was £6 down, simple as that, through the having a funny panel but uh, hopefully I can look that one out. Now the two uh, grid tie inverters I got can both handle up to 600 watts you'll never get that out of a 600 watt um, set of panels you'll never get 600 watts so putting six panels together gives me 600 watts but you'll never make it so it's quite safe to plug six panels into uh, one of the inverters no problem there whatsoever so I'll be doing that I'll be digging around with the panels and I'll let you know how it goes and we're going to go for another two month run on it. Been doing some laser cutting this week, not done much pond wise, filters are uh, due a clean this morning but uh, you've all seen that before. So this has just been mainly on the solar, anybody that wants to know any more please uh, get hold of me. I uh, might give it a break for a few weeks now um, over the midsummer. Um, I've got a lot of things to do, so put in time to ever put a video out it can be a pain. So I don't know if I do it or not. So don't be surprised if you don't see a video from me for a few weeks. I haven't died or snuffed it or anything like that. All right, I'm just a uh, very busy chap. All right, need to do some work on the bikes and stuff like that, and the ponding and uh, laser cutting. Everything takes up time. Right, let's have a quick look at the pond a minute. And uh, then we'll see about uh, winding this uh, shortish uh, solar video up. And this week, if you've got a channel and you're looking for something to, uh, to stick on the wall behind you when you're having a natter on screen, I don't think you can beat one of these. Uh, subscriber plaque, plus a couple of YouTube buttons. They're on eBay. Uh, I think they're around the £20 mark, which is an absolute bargain. Get uh, them on there. Red and white and white and red. Whatever you want. They're on eBay. Or contact me on Facebook if you fancy a set of these. Good thing to have behind you on the wall. Drum up those subscribers. Black dark pool this morning. I've only just hit the skimmer back on. They had breakfast uh, not long ago, or second breakfast, I should say. They had a good feed in this morning, not long after daylight. Just had another, but I've only just hit the skimmer back on. So there's a bit of crap floating around on the surface. I don't know what the pond temps are today. We'll have a look. You can tell it's been colder. Back down to 18 degrees. Hopefully today I push it back up a bit. Yeah, get your filter clean. Barring that, everything's been running fine down here. Everything good in the veg. Piss filter. You can see but, uh, this stuff growing again. And if it's in here, it's going to be starting to push around in the pond. So, I think we're going to hit the clover leaf this time. Got a bit of filter wool in the box. Did see a uh, old koi pond lifestyle there wrapping a bit of floss round uh, his outlet pipes. Yes, you will always find 
more rubbish to take out of the water no matter how well you polish it. Fish, all well happy. Pond test's all good. So, just wind this up a minute on the step. Okay, I've just uh, basically cutting a few freebies here. But uh, if you can see the time there, um, 8.59 in the morning, sun's out. Solar today, making 296 on one array, 230 on the other. So 60 watts of drift there. That's the kind of problem with these two arrays. Both of them now should be up around the same. But uh, one's near 60 watts down. But uh, that's what we're making at 9 o'clock in the morning. And it goes up obviously a lot more than that. But uh, 500, making over 500 watts there, no problem. 520, 530 watts. Right. Just squeeze that little bit in for you. Okay, so there, as I say, this week was uh, mainly on the solar, so as I said, in 60 days I made uh, 54 pounds 87, so it's not too bad. The target I was looking for was around the 125, 130 quid mark for sort of um, April, May, June, July. So we will see if uh, we can, in those four months, whether uh, we can get to that mark. Um, 120, 130 quid. I am, it's going to have to be good for the next two months to do that. But if I do end up with those panels plugged in and I can't find actually two extra panels plugged in and I can't find a fault with the others, they're just low for some reason. All four of them um, are 10, um, 10 p down a day. Like, um, then I'll have the extra two extra panels plugged in, so that should give me um, an extra. 30p a day, 30 or 30, 35p a day. I know all this has got a bit complicated, but I will drop some things in around here up for you to have a look at. Right, so as I said, I'm probably going to be giving it a rest for the uh, a couple of weeks or more. Um, I just don't know. I've got so much to do. If I've got time to film, I will film. And if I've got stuff to film, I will film. Hoping to get a visit or two in in that time as well. I um, need to pop up around and see James, I haven't been up there for ages. Um, I think he's going to try and get down here as well, but I need to pop up around and see him. Just have a, have a natter and a catch up. Uh, also another visit as well, surprise visit, but uh, we'll get that one in. Because I promised that one last year. But oh, that's about it from down here. So, from down in sunny Devon today, yes, the solar's pouring in there this morning. Make up for yesterday. I think we made about 24 pence yesterday. Bloody dark and overcast. Had the lights on till in mid morning. It's like uh, backside of a badger's backside here. That dark. Right. We'll catch you all in another one. Hopefully pretty soon, but could be a few weeks. So from down here in Devon, happy ponding. Enjoy your spare time. Bye for me.